It is April 19th. Today marks the first day of me officially not having a car. I've been preparing myself to not have a car for about the last four or five years. And the fact that we were gifted a car really helped a lot. Uh, otherwise, we would have no car because Dom's car died last year. <laughs> My car died this year. I normally walk about three or four kilometers a day anyway. So I figured I would just pull out my shopping cart <laughs> and make going to the grocery store part of my weekly walking. And I gotta say, I'm kind of enjoying it. I guess this is one of the luxuries of living in a major metropolis and having the convenience of pretty much everything nearby. <sighs> I guess my arms are gonna get, my shoulders are gonna get stronger with this. It's important to me to have functional fitness. I'm not somebody likes to go out of her way to go to a gym, which is probably why I had a home gym for so long. Not into stationary bikes. I prefer to be outdoors because I love being outdoors. Now that said, there are times that, especially in the winter time, I do have to incorporate things like free weights, and weighted medicine balls, and weighted rubber bands. For the most part, the more natural, the more functional for me, the better. When I first moved to the city, I had a lot of people make fun of me because I walked. How weird is that, right? I'm a country girl. Uh, my father had a vehicle. I have five older siblings. My mother did not drive. So if we wanted to go anywhere, we had to walk. You know, we didn't have the luxury that kids have today. Even my own daughter, you know, call up mom and, hey, mom, can you drive me here and there? I remember many times my dad driving by me, you know, as I'm walking five miles into town uh, because he has a life to live. He's off to work somewhere. He's not going to be stopping to pick up each kid and drive them places. So I got used to having to walk everywhere. I walked a mile to go to the beach, a mile there and a mile back. And then of course walk home for dinner. And then, you know, if it's summertime and it's still warm, you walk back to the beach, hang out till it gets dark and walk home. I grew up having to walk everywhere and I guess I just never thought anything of it. It's just part of my life. For me to walk even two miles to go to work, I've done it starting at the age of 14. I walked a mile and a half to work and a mile and a half home. In my 20s, I did the same thing. And in my 30s, when I went back to college, I walked 10 kilometers to the college and home again with, I don't know, anywhere from 25 to 50 pounds of books on my back. <laughs> you know, folks, when you have to do what you gotta do, you just do it and you get her done. I don't know about you, but for me, instead of complaining, I just kept looking at all the upsides, starting with, because physical fitness is so important to me, I was fit and because I'm fit, I'm healthy and I've never had to be concerned about how much I eat or staying healthy and fit. It's just part of my everyday life. And yeah, I'll take more of that, thank you. Well, this is the first time I've used this cart. I've had it for almost 10 years. It works. I think I bought it for $20. I went online, these are like $70 now. Crazy. Maybe not the best for going upstairs. I'm sweating. I definitely need to layer and wear lighter. Oh my God, what a hot mess, right? I definitely need to layer more layers. Yeah, it was hot. I hear little meow meows. Hello. Hi. Hi, honey. Did you miss me? Yeah, I missed you too. Is it lunchtime? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's more than lunchtime. It's one o'clock. It's an hour past your lunchtime. Okay, where do you want me to put it? Oh, okay, okay. Oh, enjoy, honey.